We go the last one, 1800. The grade three Yellowwood handicap, they all set. Gates crash open, field sent on its way to an even start. Classic Illusion got an absolute flyer. She's in the lead early on. I don't think that's where she wants to be. Formation along the inside slips through. Flitters up there too in the red cap. Magic Smoke, orange sleeves and cap handy as well. And that pokes the nose in front. Golden Dawn is trapped deep. They followed by Blue Roots and the yellow sleeves and cap trying to slot in. Mystic Tigris is inside of it. Cyclone Michelle has a rails run. Rhythmic Roxy is deepest of all. Al Kindi won from last and Go Indy goes about eight lengths off the leader. 1,400 meters left to go. Magic Magic Smoke won the battle for the lead, but she worked quite hard. Second place is Golden Dawn in the red cap. Then comes Flitter, who hugs the rail in third. Further back to Classic Illusion, dropped back into fourth, and she's just three lanes from the leader. Formation is directly behind Flitter in the green with the white rings. Then they followed by Rhythmic Roxy, the white blinkers, going the longest route. That one's been followed by Mystic Tigris, and at its inside comes the yellow colours of Blue Roots. Then we go back to Go Indigo, and out after these ones towards the back end of the field is Old Kindy and Cyclone Michelle at the top of the straight. They've got 800 metres left to go. So the leader is Magic Smoke. It's a length in front. Second place is Golden Dawn. Up towards the inside is Flitter. Then we go back to Classic Illusion into the clear and it's got two to make up. Mystic Tigris is further back in the run. Go Indy goes down the inside. Cyclone Michelle is further back. But now Classic Illusion past the 500. Took over the lead and went on a length and a half. Magic Smoke's in second. Flitter's up the inside. Then comes Mystic Tigris. Formation has got Got three to make up, but it's Classic Illusion, the horse to overhaul. Second position is Cyclone Michelle, then comes Formation. She's still got three to make up. Classic Illusion, still the leader. She fights on gallantly. Cyclone Michelle up the outside is bidding to cause an upset. It's classic Illusion still finds and Classic Illusion won it. Second goes to Cyclone Michelle, then came Formation and Mystic Tigris ahead of Magic Smoke. First and fourth in the Yellowwood Handicap for trainer Gary Alexander as number one classic illusion comes through to get a black type and for her career. Four-time winner now, top rider by jockey Samanga Kamalo, bought this daughter of Kahal. And, uh, you know, I had my reservations in the soft going whether or not she was going to see out the 1,800 metres. And I watched you ride this filly and you sent her quite early and you said, well, let's play catch me if you can. And she dug down deep. She won a good race. Yeah, she dug down deep. You know, uh, she was carrying top weight. And uh, uh, when I came to the ring, Mr. Alexandra told me he'll leave everything up to me and uh, the filly is very well. I was just, uh, if, if there's no, sp no pace, I can use her. Mm. But uh, he'll leave everything up to me, which I'm that got a nice position nearly. And I just waited for them, you know, just to get my, everyone get to settle. And uh, we went around, she was quite comfortable, relaxed. And top of the straight, she started taking the beat. And there was not much I, I could follow. And I had the option to go to the front early on, so I just let her slide through. And uh, she, she, she kept reserve all the way. Mm. But when I pressed her again, there was something in there. She won a very gutty race. She obviously also enjoyed the sting out the ground. Her better runs have certainly been on the softish going. But uh, well ridden, Samanga. I know you were battling with your foot over the last couple of days. How's it feeling? Hey, you know, uh, it's a bit better. You know, at least I had a, a couple of days off uh, just to uh, get it right. Mm. And, uh, you know, I thought tonight, let me just come and, uh, you, you know, this is, this is what I like doing. And uh, if I have to get her chair, it have to be the place. So, yeah, well, and to the Ms. Alexandra, to the owners also for opportunity. And, yeah. <laughs> well done. Well, you've got a memento. Andy O'Connor from the Racing Association giving you your Yellowwood Handicap Trophy. Thank you. And uh, well done to uh, Valder Crowns, my sponsor. Still waiting for that wine, by the way. <laughs> Real, talk. Real talk. Okay, well done. Dean, nice victory over here. I know this filly's been knocking at the door for a feature win, and uh, she got it this evening. Yeah, I said to Bruce Gordon a while back, I said she's got a great run, you know, you know and I think tonight was a notch as well. Her last run was a good indication that she was coming back to form, and yeah, it's among it, rode a cracking race, you know, thanks to him, and of course the owners, uh, Greg Sadie. Bruce Gardner, Myron Berzak, Kirk Michael. I'm happy to have another graded win for them. What's the plan for her now? I mean, she's picked up this. There must be one or two other nice features coming up. Yeah, there's still a few Phillies races coming up uh, later on. There's one or two in November. We'll just play it by ear and see how she goes. Nice performance by Mystic Tigress as well. I know every, she's a type of filly that needs everything to go her way on a day, but uh, running back and forth in this type of company? Yeah, well, you know, at the weights, it was, it's been difficult. She's been hit up uh, quite harshly, and I think she had it all to do, and she ran a cracking race. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully she's got a little uh, grade one in, in her coming up.
Congratulations, there's your memento, and you're kind of great to have him on course. Well, let's bring in all the owners, and it's of course Bruce Gardner, lovely to have Myron Burzak on course, and Greg Sadie. I see that the colours are there. I mean, you had a couple of horses running in these colours tonight, but you picked up the big one, the, the most important, Bruce. Yeah, we had in second and a fourth, they weren't bad runs. I think the one that beat our, our filly in the second is a very decent sort. Uh, but these are the best partners in the world. I just phone them up after a sale and I say, you're in, you're in, you're in. And they just say yes, yes, and they send the check. But in a group three, that you can't come down to the parade ring and greet the jockeys and get into the vibe, I'm sorry. I'm bad. It's bad news, eh? Bad news. But to Mick and the team and to Ash and, and Dean and Gary, uh, to, to Samanga, who wrote an absolutely cracking race, she's furnished now and she looks like she's the real... I, I thought the handicapper was hard on us, a three-time winner carrying 60 kilograms. Uh, we got punished again for running fourth last time, but she's won a group three, what can we say? Yeah, with top weight as well, and uh, she's proved you right. I know she's got a few more in the tank, I think, especially on this performance, but I think she's going to make a lovely brood me. Absolutely. Oh, no, that's where you're going, Greg. A nice victory over here, and great to have you and Myron on course. Yeah, it's a miracle. To be, for us to for be the here. two of you to be, to here, be here together. Here. And yeah, it's lovely to have a big race winner. It hasn't happened for a long time and very proud. Okay, well, you're going to have to share that trophy, and it's a small one, Ma. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that we had against the horse, of course, were the colours. I was very worried, very worried. Myron, I've told you, buy the most majority of the shares and you can have the colours. Okay, I can see the guys are still fighting over those colours. Well done. There's your memento. I'm sure you'll be able to organise another one or two for the team. Number one, classic illusion. The five-year-old daughter of Cajal has come through smartly to win the seventh race, the Yellowwood Handicap, the Grade 3 event for trainer Gary Alexander. Samanga Kamala riding a crack over race aboard this daughter of Cajal. And well done to Summer Hill Stud, the winner breeders. It's all of Joe Gardner, Myron Burzak, Bruce Gardner, Kirk Michael and Greg Sadie. And not forgetting George who is the groom who turned out uh, number one classic illusion in perfect style. He is on course. Great to have him here as well. And thanks to Andy O'Connor representing the Racing Association handing out the Java Handicap and the Yellowwood Handicap trophies this evening.